And this afternoon's teams line up as follows, starting with our visitors from Dorking. Number one, Daniel Lincoln. Are in a different away strip this week. Uh, it's a, a white and pale grey stripes, blue shorts and white socks. And very only potentially eligible Dorking Wanderers player. It's under 23s. In comes the corner. And it's headed up and over the bar by Tyler Cor An X shot, but very definitely talking these days. Here's the ball being held up by Jack Jeb. Gives it short, comes in, an early cross. Shot comes in on target and blocked uh, for Dorkin. And uh, Aldershot trying to play it out of a tight situation. Harfield plays it off of his man and then has to stick his right foot through it. Up towards McCoydy. About 50-50 really, but... Uh, is here's Dawkins on the right hand side. Ball's driven across and Ashby Hammond at times. Here's a breaking diagonal ball out to the right by George Franken. And it wasn't a bad ball at all. The Dawkins play has gone down. Aldershot continue the attack. Referee at the moment happy to let it play on. Oh, Fuller lets it run into attack and lift to Gary Smith at crawl. Let's just hang on because Bauman's picked the ball up in midfield. He's going for He's going to have a shot from distance. And if I went over to Richards into a decent save to touch it behind for Crawley's second corner kick of the afternoon. The one goal that currently divides the two sides came it down, plays it through the legs of Bowman. And a lovely smart turn from Justin Amaluza. Sends his cross in. Header on target, parried away. Brilliant. And followed up by Tyler Cordner, who has the first shot on goal of the afternoon. One Dorking Wanderers nil. The goal coming from Tyler Gordon in the 46th minute. Back position. Isaac Wilcott now on the right hand side and pop that to back four. That's it. We are underway in the second half here at the EBB. Aldershot is a poor pull back, but Cordner uh, sends it forward. And the ball's bouncing around near touch. Kept in by Mewers. Josh Taylor oversteps the ball and McCoy's onto it in a flash. He's making his way to the edge of the area, comes inside. Square oh, it's a terrible pass. Passed it straight to Dan Gallagher. But then he recovers well, McCoy, and wins the ball back off of Gallagher. Now the ball's out to the right hand side for Willard. Cross comes in. It's over Glover. And Harfield almost gets onto the outside of him. He's to the edge of the area. Harfield should be able to get a cross in here. In it comes to the far post. Cordner's still up there. He wasn't sure whether to head it or leave it for Willard. He flicks it on and Willard's got it on the edge of the box, into the feet of Amaluza, tries the shot and it's well blocked by Dan Golliger and cleared for there and it wasn't in truth the best of passes and now Dawkins give it straight to Cordner and Aldershot can again pick up the flow just inside the Dorkin half. We'll get updates from Gary and from Flo in the next few minutes. Karoy Anderson with a lovely ball, defence splitter sent into the area and nobody's there for shots. Phil Pop to the loose ball, Karoy Anderson onto the next one. Oh, lovely quick footwork from Justin Amaluza to get on the ball. And then he looks to try and work it past Gallagher, he can't, he has to come back, sends it inside. It's left by one player and then another. Partington has got Harfield ahead of him. Harfield now looks to get his cross into the far post. Oh, Glover gets there. There, we'll change it. Woken too. We'll go there in a minute. It's a throw in from Dawkins, headed up and on, and then further out, and then back in from Gallagher, out from Partington. Moore brings it down out to the left hand side. Taylor's jinking up against his man, fizzes it across goal, straight to penalties. Throw in taken by Josh Taylor, and it comes headed on by Dan Gallagher, header away from Cordner, chipped back in from Dawkins. Effort comes in, it's accurate. Final four minutes, in comes the throw from Coulson. Cordner heads it clear. Uh, Glover chases, chests it down and only can half clear as far as Josh Taylor. He puts the ball into the area, down off the bar and cleared. And it just does as Josh Taylor skips inside onto his left foot. And it's just come off the foot of the post, back to Briggs. He sends it back into the area. Um, a Jeb with the corner, right footed. In it comes, headed back in and away by Cordner. Edge of the area, headed back in by Frankham, headed away by Cordner again. Only as far as Frankham. Frankham to Jeb. In comes the cross. Header is wide from Josh Taylor. And there is the final whistle. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.